Welcome back, my friends. If you have a WordPress website and you have a new Amazon affiliate link and you need to change all of your affiliate links to your new affiliate link code, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you how to change your Amazon affiliate link throughout your website on all of your pages quickly within 10 minutes. In fact, it'll take you less than 10 minutes, believe it or not. Now, if you like this video, please give me a like. It's always appreciated. And without further ado, let's go. Welcome back, my friends. And I'm here to show you how to do it in less than 10 minutes. So you have your affiliate link. It's embedded in all of your WordPress pages and you've got a new Amazon link and you need to update all of your old links. So I'm going to show you how. Stay tuned. All right, so we are going to be updating um, all our hyperlinks using a plugin called Better Search and Replace. First thing that you're going to do is you're going to go over to your um, WordPress um, website and you're going to go to the plugins section and you're going to go all the way up to the top and you're going to add a new plugin. Um, and now you're getting all the plugins here and um, you've got the uh, search bar. In the search bar, you are going to type in better search. Mm. I've got a whole bunch of um, plugins listed here. Um, I've used um, some of these, but the best one uh, that I found that works really, really well is this one right here, Better Search and Replace. So what you're going to do is once you've found it, you're going to click on the Install button here. And once it's installed, you're going to press the Activate button. All right, now there you go. Um, if you've, um, uh, now before we go any further, um, I should say that, um, you know, before you make any major changes like this to your WordPress website, you should probably uh, do a backup um, in case anything goes wrong. You can always go back uh, to the backup and restore that backup. All right, so we're now going to um, take a look and see um, where the better search and replace is and it's located under tools and here it is better search and replace we're just going to click on that and here this is what it looks like okay now before we continue on to do the search and replace what you're going to need is you're going to need your um, old store ID and your new Amazon store ID. Okay, so I'm just using these as an as examples that um, if your old store ID was um, something like this and um, you now have your new store ID, which is something like this, that's what you're going to be plugging into the um, search and the replace function. Okay, so um, I'm just going to come back here to better search and replace. Uh, now, if you don't know where to find your store IDs, you can just go on over to um, uh, Amazon. And you can um, if you've got your uh, site strip there, and here, this is where you're going to find your your store ID. Okay. If you're wondering how to find your old Amazon store ID, what you can do is you can go over to your website. 
and you can um, just go to one of your your posts um, you can go to one of your um, um, affiliate links I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom here to find uh, some links okay and what you can do is look down into the um, link at the bottom you will find or if you want you can um, just um, copy the link and you can bring it into a document and so here it is here's my document but um, if you look closely you will find your old store ID right here e okay so that's what you're searching for and then you're going to replace it with your your new store ID which you're going to find here okay but um, hopefully you've written it down um, somewhere your old ID and your new ID and you'll be able to quickly plug those in and uh, make that change so um, for example I'm going to use those examples that um, um, that I had okay so I'm going to use um, this and the other one so I'm just going to um, copy that in here and then I'm going to put in the ID that's my new ID because we're going to replace our old ID with our new ID and please be accurate um, with make sure that you're spelling the IDs correctly okay now what you're going to do is the majority of your your affiliate links are going to be in posts so you're basically looking for the tables that correspond with posts okay so if I scroll down this is my table that contains all my posts so you're going to select that so basically you're looking for the tables where these links are going to exist and for the most part they're going to exist here um, I'm happy to just update this table um, and I'm good with that okay so then you're going to come down here and the great part about this plugin is number one it's free it's totally free you have some additional settings here where you can say case sensitive place GUIDs um, and you can do a, a, a dry run, meaning it's like a test. You can do a dry run, see what the results are, and um, then you can actually do your live run. Once you've filled in all of these items and you've selected the right table, you're going to come down here and you're going to do a test run, and then you're going to do run, search, and replace. Okay. Um, once it's done that, it's going to flip you back up to the top here. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do it because, I, as I said, I just updated my um, my links. And, um, of course, I don't want to mess anything up. But once you do that, you're going to get a message up here that's going to tell you uh, how many links it found um, that could be replaced. But because this is a test run, it's going to say that zero links were updated. So um, if you're satisfied with that, you can then come back down here. And if you need to re-enter this information, uh, do so. If you need to select the table again, do so. And then um, when you come down here, uh, you're not going to select this because it's going to be your live run. So you're going to leave this part unchecked and then you're going to run the search and replace live, okay? And then it's gonna bump you back up to the top and give you a summary of everything that was updated, okay? And um, that's pretty much it. And now this whole process from start to finish shouldn't take longer than mm, maybe 15 minutes at tops by the time you download the plugin 
Um, by the time you figure out what your uh, old idea is, what your new idea is, uh, do a test run and, um, and then uh, do your live run. Okay, so uh, I hope that you've found this video helpful. If you like the video, press the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Okay.